Hello students, welcome back. Today I am Anuradha from DPS Loyal Lama Chor School. Today I'm going to start another topic of the chapter that is Molecular Basis of Inheritance. In the last class already we have discussed about the transcription. Okay, so what is transcription? When there will be formation of RNA or the mRNA from the DNA, that step it is known as transcription, right? And after transcription, what is the translation in which the mRNA will transform into the protein? And we know that whenever we are talking about the inheritance, Okay, when, whenever we are talking about the inheritance, then DNA, it is that thing which will transfer from parents to their subsequent generation. Okay, so here we can say that DNA is just like a PD or the pen drive in which all the information has been stored and this information stored in some form. If you will talk about the DNA, DNA is also a, like a pen drive and inside it some codes are present. These codes is responsible for making some protein and this protein will form particular trait or particular character of an individual. Right? So in case of pen drive also, all the information we are storing and whatever it is stored in its coded form, we are taking in our computer. Okay, when we are transferring it. So like this, this DNA is inherited from the parents to the subsequent generation. Okay, so how, how these things are present in, in case of DNA in form of some codes. We have done that some sequences like ATGC, AU, AUG. So what are these things? These are the particular sequence which are responsible for making particular amino acids. And after the combination of all these amino acids, it will give rise to particular protein. Okay, so here we will understand that what is this genetic code and how we are giving names and how they are coded in the um, na, we are in our messenger RNA. Okay, so let's start that what is first of all the question is that what is genetic code? So we can say that it is the relationship relationship between what between the nucleotides Okay, relation between the nucleotides and those nucleotides which is present in the mRNA. Okay, those nucleotides which is present on the mRNA as well as the sequence of amino acids in the last polynucleotide chain. Now, what is the meaning of this line in here? It means that whenever we are going for the transcription, in transcription what is happening? From the template DNA, there will be a formation of mRNA. Okay, like this, it is a any DNA double helical structure. If we will take it, the two strands are like this. Okay, I have not drawn the main one. So, what we can say, it is having two strands and out of two strands, what is happening? The This one, 3 is to 5 and 5 is to 3. So, this one we have taken as a template strand. So, this template strand is what? This one, which I have drawn here. Okay, so now what will happen on the basis of the complementary base pairing, it will form the mRNA. What it is? It is mRNA. So in mRNA, how the pairing will take place? On the principle of the complementarity of the template DNA. So here, what we are saying, relationship of what? Relationship of the those nucleotides. Of which nucleotides? Those nucleotides which is present on this mRNA. After... Uh, making the base pairing with the template DNA. So here what is happening? How this these codes or these nucleotides, what are they? These are the nucleotides. So how these nucleotides are present on this mRNA as well as this particular nucleotide will code for which amino acids in the polynucleotide chain. Okay, poly uh, here after that what it will form? It will form the peptide. What we said? There is a from DNA to RNA it is transcription and from RNA to um, then uh, RNA what will form here protein. So this protein is what? This protein is the chain of different amino acid. For example, 
I have shown here methionine is one of the amino acids, valine, leucine, serine. So when they will combine with each other, what they will form? They will form the protein. So how this protein is forming from this sequence of, which is present in the mRNA and how it comes to know that we have to make that amino acid only. Okay, there is a particular sequence, there is a particular uh, thing that this one will always will make the particular amino acid. So all this is what due to what? This is due to the genetic code. So here we will understand that how they are related, how this AUG, how this AUG nucleotide will form methionine here. So this is the relationship between the mRNA as well as the polypeptide chain which we are getting here in the protein okay so to understand that because if we'll talk about the transcription in case of transcription it is very easy to code why because we know the complementary base pairing method okay hum dna se rna to bana sakte kyunki hamare paas kya hai that hai complementary base pairing but how we will form protein from this mrna kyunki yahan par mrna ke paas sequences hai so how they will code for this particular amino acids that's why it is needed that what is that thing it is the code that particular code we know that about the password okay if you will feed that password then only we will get the output same here hamare paas ek particular ek code hoga jo kya karega ek particular amino acids ke liye hi hoga and on the basis of this thing we can say that yes this nucleotide sequence is responsible for forming amino acids okay so here now we have to understand that how these things will happen because previously we have done the complementary base pairing so how it will happen in case of different um, scientists came here one of them is george gomo what uh, what was the contribution of the scientist previously it was assumed that i am rubbing it here please uh, it was assumed that only one nucleotide one nucleotide it will uh, form one of the combination how because total how many uh, nucleotides we are having if we'll talk about the mrna we are having a u g c okay we are having four nucleotides and and how many amino acids we are having 20 amino acids okay we are having 20 amino acids which are responsible for forming the uh, protein here okay now we have 20 amino acids ke according ye jo four hai, we have to form some combination okay how they will pair up with the another one kaise ye pair up karenge so if this one will form for amino acids for example if i say valine it's not compulsory i'm just giving example here for example this A is responsible for valine and this U is responsible for, I am writing from here, methionine, then valine, then leucine, then serine. Okay, earlier it was thought like that. We are having four nucleotides and each nucleotide is uh, responsible for forming only one amino acid. So it means that how many amino acids we have made it here? Only four amino acids. But we are having 20 amino acids so how you will form uh, how you will form or uh, these 20 amino acids aap kaise banaoge kyunki aap agar aap sirf ek nucleotide ki wajah se ek amino acid banta hai to hamare paas to sirf four amino acids banenge and we are having 20 amino acids so this theory is fail here okay this one is fail here so what is required it is required that something more so this method is singlet method okay so this now it's clear that how how we have formed the uh, combination. So here, same thing. This scientist said that in order to code twenty amino acids, okay, for coding this twenty amino acids, what we can go? We can go for the three nucleotides, okay? We can go for the three nucleotides, and these three nucleotides can form any one amino acids, okay? Any one amino acids can be formed by these this method. Okay, so code should be of the three and this three nucleotide it is known as triplet code. Okay, now 
Another question arises that what is this codon? Every time you will uh, see their codon or what is it? So here the group of nucleotides, okay? What type of group? This group of nucleotides which is or which is uh, responsible for any particular amino acids. For example, this AUG is responsible for, make, for making methionine. So what we can say, this AUG is one of the codon. Okay, in, in this mRNA, what we are having, we are having some group of nucleotides that specifies or the or codes for any particular amino acids. Okay. So what is happening here? This AUG for methionine, GUG for valine, UUG for leucine, AGC for serine. So we are having how many codons here? This is the one codon, two codon, three codon and four codon. It means that these are the code word. Okay? Agar aapko ye code pata hai, to bata paoge ki konsa amino acid ban raha hai. Right it is here? So we can say as we have done with the help of this triplet method. Okay, in this triplet method, we are taking three nucleotides. Okay, this code is made up of how many nucleotides? Three nucleotides. That it is, these things we have written here. Now, what are the features of this genetic code? How we can say this genetic code is possessing some characteristics? So, here we will understand that how many types of characteristics it is having here. The first one is a triplet nature. Already we have done that this is made up of three nucleotides for each amino acids. Same thing and like this we are getting how many combination? 64 and that number is very large. So out of the 64 codon, okay, out of the 64 codon, 61, 61 codon. Codes for the 20 amino acids because we need to code for only these 20 amino acids. Okay, so how many code? How many code? How many codon? Codons are there? We are having 61 codon for my 20 amino acids and rest of the three codon. Okay, out of this 64, this three, uh, these three do, will not code for any of the amino acids. And this 64 is 64 में से से 61 codon जो है ऐसे जो आपको codon दिखेंगे one two three four ऐसे 61 codon जो है वो 20 amino acids को code कर सकते हैं but these three will not code for any amino acid यानी कि इन तीन codon से कोई भी amino acids नहीं बनेगा okay and that's why it, it is known as stop codons what we are saying stop codons it, we will use the stop codons in our uh, methods okay in case of translation in the lac operon we will use this stop codon why to stop the protein synthesis jab hume protein synthesis ko banana rokna hai tab hum iska use karenge okay and we are having three codons okay. here in the last we will understand what are they uaa and uag uga these are the three stop codons present in our genetic code right so we have done that 64 is total and 61 we are using and 3 are uh, we are not using for any uh, uh, for any uh, coding for the amino acids. Now second one is the degeneracy. What is that feature of this genetic code that it is having degeneracy? It means that some amino acids, it means that some amino acids can be coded for more than one codon. What does it mean? If, for example, if I say that one amino acid that is glycine okay i have taken example of glycine so this glycine can code for uh, this is having different codes like ggu ggc gga ggg okay jahan par bhi aap inme se koi bhi four codon dekhte ho we can say that it is glycine if it is in this mrna if ggu will be there okay in that case also you will say it is glycine. If I will write GGC here, again you can say it is glycine. If I will write GGA, then, then again it means glycine. It means that some of the amino acids can be coded by more than one codon. It is having more than one codon. Then only it can complete 61. No? If, if it would, will make only one. Kisi kisi koi amino acids aise hain. Jo kya karenge? Kisi bhi uh, kuch amino acids honge. It will code for only uh, one and 
कुछ अमाइनो एसिड्स होंगे जिनके पास क्या होंगे एक से ज़्यादा कोडोन होंगे किसी के पास थ्री कोडोन फोर फाइव सो इट कैन वेरी हियर दैट्स वाई इट विल फॉर्म सिक्सटी वन अदरवाइज हाउ इट विल फॉर्म अगर सब में इक्वल इक्वल कोडोन्स बनेंगे तो इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल टू मेक सिक्सटी वन राइट सो वॉट इज डिजेनरेसी ऑफ जेनेटिक कोड इट इज दैट थिंग इन विच द अमाइनो एसिड्स कैन कोड फॉर मोर देन वन कोडोन ओके लाइक एग्जाम्पल वी हैव कोटेड नाउ वन वन और टू एक्सेप्शन आर देयर एक्सेप्शन आर वॉट एज आई हैव सैड दैट वन एनी अमाइनो एसिड्स कैन बी कोडेड बाई बाई थ्री कोडोन और बाई द फोर कोडोन यहाँ पे तो फोर कोडोन मैंने शो किए कुछ ऐसा माइनो एसिड्स होंगे जो फाइव जिनके पास फाइव कोडोन्स भी होंगे सो ही है वट आई वॉन्ट टू से सम एक्सेप्शनल आर मिथायोनिन एंड ट्रिप्टोफेन दीज टू अमाइनो एसिड्स वट आर दे मिथायोनिन एंड ट्रिप्टोफेन दे आर हैविंग ओनली वन कोडोन ओके इनके पास और कोई कितने कोडोन नहीं है हाउ मेनी कोडोन्स दे आर हैविंग ओनली वन कोडोन क्या था ट्रिपलेट फॉर्म में कोई भी बनाया था ए यू जी ये सारे क्या है कोडोन तो इसके पास मिथाइल के पास ओनली एंड ओनली इट इज हैविंग ओनली वन कोडोन दैट इज ए यू जी एंड वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट दिस मिथाइल एवरी टाइम एवरी टाइम वेन वी आर फॉर्मिंग द प्रोटीन द फर्स्ट अमाइनो एसिड विल बी ओनली मिथाइनिन हर प्रोटीन के चेन में पहला द फर्स्ट वन अमाइनो एसिड कौन सा होता है मिथायोनिन एंड ऑलवेज वी नो दैट कोड इज ए यू जी कभी भी इसका कोई और कोड नहीं होता है ओके एंड अनदर वन इज अ ट्रिप्टोफेन ट्रिप्टोफेन इज ऑल्सो देयर विच इज हैविंग ओनली दिस कोडोन इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी अदर कोडोन यहाँ पे ग्लाइसिन के पास कितने कोडोन है देखिए आप बट हियर इन केस ऑफ ट्रिप्टोफेन एंड मिथानिन दे आर हैविंग ओनली वन वन कोडोन सो दिस इज द एक्सेप्शनल वन राइट इट इज नाउ द थर्ड फीचर ऑफ द जेनेटिक कोड दैट इट इज अन एम्बिग्यूस एंड स्पेसिफिक वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अन एम्बिग्यूस समटाइम्स वी आर सेंग वन कोडोन कोड्स फॉर ओनली वन अमेनो एसिड्स सेम थिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हियर ओके इन केस ऑफ इफ विल टेक द प्रोलीन इट इज हैविंग ओनली स्पेसिफिक इट कैन फॉर्म वन ऑफ द कोडोन अगर क्या करे वन कोडोन कोड्स फॉर सिर्फ एक कोडोन कोड करे एक पर्टिकुलर एमिनो एसिड्स के लिए इफ आई विल से दैट जी जी यू ओके हमें पता है कि पर्टिकुलर ये ग्लाइसिन का ही है ये किसी और अमाइनो एसिड्स का नहीं हो सकता है ओके इट इज फिक्सड हियर दैट दिस कोडोन इज मेड अप मेड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाइनो एसिड सो दिस फीचर ऑफ जेनेटिक कोड इट इज अन एम्बिग्यूस ओके ये ये बायस नहीं होगा इसके पास अपना एक स्पेसिफिक कोडोन होगा हर अमाइनो एसिड्स के चाहे वन हो चाहे टू हो चाहे थ्री फोर लेकिन उनके स्पेसिफिक होंगे वो कोडोन किसी और के साथ शेयर नहीं करते हैं देन फोर्थ वन इज कॉमलेस वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉमलेस If you are reading any statement, okay? आप कोई भी paragraph पढ़ते हैं if you are reading any paragraph, what happens? Uh, when there will be comma, you will stop for uh, short time. If there will be full stop, you will stop for some more time. Like this, you are uh, reading the whole paragraph. So how this genetic should be read? अब genetic code में भी तो क्या है इस तरीके से कोडो कोडोन्स आर प्रेजेंट कोड्स आर प्रेजेंट सो हाउ दे विल रीड दे विल रीड कंटिन्यूसली हाउ दे विल रीड दे विल रीड कंटिन्यूसली दे विल नॉट टेक एनी ब्रेक दे विल नॉट टेक एनी स्टॉप हियर सो वी कैन से दीज आर कॉमलेस ओके वेन वी आर गोइंग टू रीड दिस कोडोन वेन एवर वी आर रीडिंग दिस कोडोन एंड वेर दीज कोडोन्स आर रीडिंग कहाँ पे कोडोन की रीडिंग होती है एम आर एन ए में How when tRNA will come here? Already we have discussed about it. So how this tRNA will read this mRNA code or this codon on the basis of the continuously? कोई भी gap नहीं होगा. A U G पढ़ा फिर ऐसा नहीं है कि it will skip this G U and then it will start from U G U. फिर वहाँ पे G में G को रोक दे या फिर G को छोड़ skip कर दे. So it will not happen in this in this one. If it will happen, what will happen? There will be change in the जेनेटिक सीक्वेंस ओके देर बी चेंज न्यूक्लियोटाइड सीक्वेंस अल्टीमेटली द रिक्वायर्ड प्रोटीन्स इट विल नॉट फॉर्म हियर विच इज द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ आर दैट वी हैव टू मेक दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाइनो एसिड्स राइट इट इज सो हियर वी कैन से द कोडोन विच दे आर रीडिंग इट शुड बी इन अ कंटिन्यूस फैशन ओके एंड विदाउट पंक्चुएशन इट मीन्स दैट देर विल बी नो कॉमन 
okay that's why we are saying it's a comma less continuously it will read this sequence it will not skip or it will not stop anywhere now another feature is universal universal means that is it is true okay it means true here we know that the particular codon it means that if aug is here okay if aug is coding for methionine in my body okay if aug is coding for methionine in my body then the same aug will code for same methionine in the animal body as well as in the plant body okay even in any of the living organisms this particular codon will read for this particular amino acid so this is what this is universal right here so what we have written the particular codon okay the particular codon codes for the same amino acids for the same amino acid in all the organism whether they can be from bacteria okay it may be bacteria also which is a unicellular and it, if it will the multicellular animals or the humans sab mein kya hoga sab mein ek particular codon ek particular amino acids ko hi code karega right here and example i have written u u u okay always and always it will code for the phenylalanine in any of the living organisms okay whatever 20 amino acids we are having they will code for the particular uh, of or the same codon in all the living organisms next one is initiator codon now what is the meaning of initiator codon as i have said in every protein okay the first one is the methionine that is aug so aug we can consider that it is a initiator codon to initiate anything in this mrna to initiate the first one will always remain aug ab kisi bhi mrna mein pehla jo aap codon dekhenge wo hamesha kaun sa hoga aug okay so that's why aug will act as a dual it will function dual work how it will act as a initiator codon as well as it will code for the methionine okay ek to ye initiator codon bana raha hai aur dusra ye kiske liye code kar raha hai methionine ke liye code kar raha hai now all these things are useful when you will study about the translation how they will form the protein then you will understand that what is the use of this initiator codon what is the use of this uh, stop codon right so another one is the terminator codon initiator means to start anything and terminator means to stop anything so another one is a terminator codons are also present that is stop codons as we have discussed here these uaa uag uga is what these are the three stop codons and we are having only these three codons which out of the 64 it will not it will not code for any protein ab jab hum kisi protein ke liye code karenge hi nahi so when we are using it when we have to stop the protein synthesis clear it is so here we have completed about the genetic code the salient features of genetic code now we will understand that how they are useful and what will happen if there will be change in any of the nucleotide in this mrna right so let's start with the another one mutation so now here we will understand about the mutation and genetic code as i have said that in genetic code there is a proper sequencing if there will be any change in any nucleotide in the mrna what will happen it will lead to the mutation and what is mutation mutation is a sudden inheritable change and due to that what will happen there will be changes in the formation of protein agar nucleotide ka sequence jo banna hai wo nahi banega what will happen it will not co code for the proper amino acids if it will not co code for the proper amino acid it will not form the desired proteins kyunki hame pata hai पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन बनने के लिए हमारे पास क्या होना चाहिए पर्टिकुलर अमाइनो एसिड्स की चेन होनी चाहिए इफ देर विल बी एनी प्रॉब्लम इन एनी ऑफ द न्यूक्लियोटाइड सो वी विल नॉट गेट द डिजायर्ड वन ओके सो हियर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आर द म्यूटेशन व्हिच इज हैपनिंग हियर सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस इन द चैप्टर 5 अबाउट द म्यूटेशन म्यूटेशन कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स पॉइंट म्यूटेशन एज वेल एज द क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन point mutation are those mutations which takes place in the gene level 
ओके पॉइंट म्यूटेशन कहाँ पे थी जो हमारे जीन लेवल पे एंड व्हाट वाज द क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन द क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन व्हिच वाज ऑकरिंग इन द क्रोमोसोम बाय द एडिशन और द बाय द डुप्लिकेशन बाय द डिलीशन व्हाटएवर ओके सो हियर वी विल नॉट टॉक वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन वी आर डीलिंग विद द पॉइंट म्यूटेशन सो दिस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन इज व्हाट व्हेन देयर विल बी चेंज इन एनी ऑफ द बेस पेयर इन द एमआरएनए ओके इन द न्यूक्लियोटाइड ऑफ द एमआरएनए दैट इज अ पॉइंट पॉइंट का मतलब किसी एक पॉइंट पे फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज द चेन ऑफ एमआरएनए दिस इज द चेन ऑफ एमआरएनए एंड दिस एमआरएनए चेन विल go for the translation and it will form particular protein or the particular amino acids so for example if i say a u g then u u u okay so this type of chain is forming in this mrna we are having this particular nucleotides what we are having we are having particular nucleotides now in case of point mutation at any particular okay whether i can say in g or in u in any particular point there will be change take place okay there will be change take place and instead of this g another one can come it can come here that we can say uh, a also here the g ki jagah a aa gaya what will happen it will not form that desired amino acid because we know that this a u g codes for methionine if this g will replace or this this g will get replaced by any other nucleotide what will happen it will change the whole uh, sequence of the nucleotide it will change the uh, formation of protein okay it will not form that that protein here so that is protein that that is mutation what is happening what type of mutation point mutation so i have written here mutation in a single base pair किसी भी एक सिंगल बेस पेयर में अगर कोई चीज रिप्लेस हो जाती है किसी और बेस पेयर से ओके okay? जैसे मैंने कहा एज आई एफ सेट द जी विल गेट रिप्लेस्ड बाय एनी अदर बेस पेयर बाय अनदर बेस पेयर इट इज व्हाट इट इज द पॉइंट म्यूटेशन राइट नाउ इन चैप्टर फाइव वी हैव डन समथिंग अबाउट द पॉइंट म्यूटेशन इट कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स ओके वट आर दे ट्रांजिशन एंड ट्रांसफर्शन इन दैट वट वॉज है Sometimes the purine will get changed from purine. Okay, purine can be replaced by the purine, or pyrimidine can be replaced by the pyrimidine. And sometimes it happens that purine get replaced by the pyrimidine, and pyrimidine can be replaced by the purine. So both of the things are what it is example of point mutation. And one of the example which already we have done about the sickle cell anemia. This sickle cell anemia is example of point mutation. Why? Because in case of the sickle cell anemia, what happens that this codon that is G A G, okay, this one in this this A nucleotide, which one this A single A base pair will get replaced by this U, okay. Sir, इतने change होने से see you can see that there will be causing of this disease, okay. So we can say that due to the mutation which is happening here. where in the hemoglobin we know that what is structure of hemoglobin this is the structure four okay this heme is uh, covered by this for example this globin globulin and these are having two alpha chain and these two are having beta chain okay hemoglobin ka dekhoge to do alpha chain hoti hai two beta chain so it is talking about which of the chain beta globulin chain so for example it is a beta chain so in this beta chains there are some particular points in which particular points are what is it is making it is making the protein okay so this beta globin is what it is made up of 1 2 3 4 5 6 the sixth number of this position okay is sixth number ka jo amino acids ke nucleotide hai what will happen this a will get replaced with the G. So no need to understand this one. That much is there. That in case of sickle cell anemia, what happens that this sequence G A G will become G U G, and due to this, there is this, there is causing of a disease, sickle cell anemia. And what is the sickle cell anemia? The structure of we know that the structure of RBC is bicolgate, but in this case, it will become C 
sickle shaped and due to this what happens it can clot the capillaries and due to this there will be no proper functioning of the blood as well as metabolism so this disease is very harmful and why it is happening it is due to the point mutation and here this one will form glutamate and this one will form valine ye jo codon hai ye particular gag codon kis ke liye hota hai glutamate ke liye and gug is for valine to glutamate se kya ban jata hai valine and here we can say it is due to the point mutation okay now another one is a frame shift mutation so this mutation can be of two types then it is happening in case of gene level so एक टाइम पे तो ये पॉइंट में किसी पर्टिकुलर बेस पेयर में चेंज करेगा एंड सेकेंड वन इज फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फ्रेम शिफ्ट फ्रेम इज सम फ्रेम इज प्रेजेंट ओके एंड देर विल बी सम शिफ्टिंग एंड ड्यू टू दिस शिफ्टिंग देर विल बी एर इन द अमाइनो एसिड्स और इन द प्रोटीन सो हियर वट इज हैपनिंग चेंज इन द रीडिंग फ्रेम ओके इफ आई हैव रिटर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से आई हैव टू राइट हैट ओके मुझे कोई स्पेलिंग हेड लिखनी थी इफ आई विल चेंज दिस ए विद एच ओ टी मैंने सिर्फ ए को ओ में चेंज किया नाउ यू कैन सी द होल मीनिंग गेट्स चेंज यहाँ पे हेड का मतलब बिल्कुल अलग था और यहाँ पे हमने जब सिर्फ एक मैंने एक स्पेलिंग की अलग करी तो क्या होगा द होल मीनिंग विल गेट चेंज हेयर सो सेम थिंग यू कैन सी हेयर सो सम फ्रेम इज देयर इफ देयर विल बी चेंज इन एनी ऑफ दैम बाय द एडिशन और बाय द डिलीशन अब यहाँ पे तो क्या हो रहा है हो सकता है हमने क्या किया फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई विल रिमूव दिस ए नाउ वॉट इट विल बिकम इट विल बिकम एच टी ऑफ नो यूज ओके यहाँ पे मैंने इन प्लेस ऑफ ए आई हैव डिलीटेड दिस ए ओके एंड ड्यू टू दिस आई विल गेट एच टी इट इज ऑफ नो यूज अगेन अनदर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई विल टेक एच ए टी इज देयर ओके इफ आई विल एड वन मोर हियर ओके इफ आई विल एड वन मोर बेस पेयर वर्ड फिल हैपन अगेन एच ए ओ टी सो होल फ्रेम विल गेट डिस्टर्ब एंड वाई इट इज है बाय द एडिशन और बाय द डिलीशन ये रीडिंग जो फ्रेम है ये क्या हो सकता है डिस्टर्ब हो सकता है या तो किसी के एड करने की वजह से बाय द इंसर्शन और बाय द डिलीशन ऑफ एनी बेस पेयर या तो मैं कोई एक बेस पेयर लगा दूँ या मैं कोई एक बेस पेयर हटा दूँ एंड ड्यू टू दैस this what will happen there will be change in the whole frame and that is the frame shift mutation okay this frame shift mutation are is of two types that is insertion and another one is the deletion now with this example we will understand it in your ncert also it is given there ram has red cap why i have taken three three word because we know that ye three any of the three in mrna it will form codon हर थ्री न्यूक्लियोटाइड के बेस पर क्या बनाते हैं कोडोन एंड ईच कोडोन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मेकिंग पर्टिकुलर अमाइनो एसिड्स राइट हियर सो वी कैन से दैट हियर व्हाट हैपेंस दैट दीज थ्री विल फॉर्म वन अमाइनो एसिड सो राम हैज रेड कैप ओके एक प्रॉपर स्टेटमेंट था इफ इफ आई विल एड एनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स If I will add any one base pair, अगर मैं कोई भी एक base pair add करती हूँ कहाँ पे Before this red, इस red से पहले मैंने एक base pair add कर दिया For example, I have added B, okay? Now how the sequence will read? कैसे sequence पढ़ा जाएगा अभी तो हमारे पास थ्री थ्री के sequence में हम read कर रहे थे If there will be such type, if I will add this B here. Now how you will read this one? This one Aram has, okay. But now you will not read red. What you will read? B R E. Then D will, then D C A. And here P will come here. So whole frame will get disturbed here by the addition of any base pair. Okay. Again, what I will do instead of B. Okay, I have added one more base pair. If I have added one more alphabet, what will happen? अब मैं क्या करूँगी? Instead of that, I will add I also. Okay, and you are having this one. ये sequence था. Okay, so I now I have added I also. How you how it should be read? Ram has B I R 
E D C A P. Okay, but A P will not form any codon because we know that codon is of three three nucleotide. Okay, like this again. Again, if I will add here one more alphabet, B I is the previous one. G also. Okay, पहले मैंने first alphabet यानी कि एक base पे change किया. Then I have changed second one. Okay, then I have added G also. Now how you will read? Ram has then this B I G will form one more codon. Okay, and it will be read like this. Big red cap. So what we have done? We have added one codon by adding three nucleotides. Okay. So from here we can conclude that if we will add one nucleotide, if we will add two nucleotide, then there will be change in the frame. Okay. But when we will add three or multiples of three. nucleotide in this mrna chain what will happen the change in the amino acids the protein which will form at last it will change but there will be no change in the frame okay ram has red cap tumne pehle bola hai humne big aur add kar diya iski wajah se kya hoga the whole amino acid change will get changed okay so here what we have done we have added यहाँ पे हमने क्या किया एड किया लाइक दिस इफ आई विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिलीशन ओके इफ आई विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिलीशन हाउ इट विल फॉर्म हियर अगेन इफ आई से राम हैज रेड क्या ओके लाइक प्रीवियस वन सो नाउ वॉट वी वॉट आई एम डूइंग हियर आई एम डिलीटिंग वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिलीट दिस डी फ्रॉम हियर okay so how you will code ram has r e c then a p will will be there if i will remove this e here what will happen then ram has then r c a like this if i will remove this r also now what will happen ram has k okay so again what we have concluded that by addition of one or two nucleotides there will be change in the frame okay but when we are adding three nucleotides or multiple of it what is happening there is no such change ram has kya we have read all the all the three uh, nucleotide which will form one codon and you can read the whole frame here okay so this is what this is the mutation and due to this mutation whether it will be insertion deletion or the point mutation there will be change in the sequence of the chain there will be change in the amino acids ultimately the protein which will form there it will not be the desired one okay and it may cause some diseases also which we have discussed here so here we have completed the genetic code and the mutation which can happen in this genetic code and due to that what are the consequences clear now one more uh, uh, topic we have to discuss here before starting the translation why because for understanding the translation we must know about the codes how they will code for the particular amino acids and how and what can be the mutation in the chain and due to this there will be some error and as well as the importance of this trna okay we are saying this trna is act as a adapter molecules okay what is an adapter adapter is a uh, we are using for helping to code it what is the function of trna we have discussed about the function of trna that what it is doing it is reading the code okay what it is doing it is reading the code which is present in the mrna after reading the code whatever the amino acid is required it is bringing from the cytoplasm and it will providing into the mrna and due to this it will form particular amino acids okay ab kaun sa amino acids banna hai aur is sequence ko read karke wo kaun leke aata hai trna for example aug is the codon which is responsible for making methionine ab methionine banna hai ye code ye aug code kaun read karega it will be read by the trna aur fir wo methionine cytoplasm se lekar aayega and it will code it there okay 
so this is the function of tRNA and it will act as a adapter molecule so same thing I have written here what it is doing it is reading the code okay as well as it is binding the specific amino acid for example I have given methionine if amino acid if this particular code is of methionine so it will bind that one it will bind to the particular amino acid okay with the help of reading this code okay so this is about the tRNA and it is also known as sRNA that is soluble RNA clear here now if we talk about the structure of tRNA most of the place you will see that the structure of tRNA it is like this okay but it is a 2D model okay this is the 2D model of tRNA if you will see the 3D model of the tRNA it is very compact structure or we can say L shaped structure so this structure is known as clover leaf model and the coiled structure or the inverted L shaped structure is also present which is present in the 3D model okay so to understand properly we are we are using this clover model okay so here same thing I have written this is the secondary structure clover leaf model 2D and in 3D we are talking about the inverted L shaped molecule and here if you will see this model clover model it is having 5 arms okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 loops are present and what are these 3 5 loops the first one is anticodal loop this loop is very very important why if you will see this structure this is what this is mRNA okay this mRNA has been different codon and these codon or the codes will be read by the tRNA okay in codes ko padhne ke liye kaun aayega tRNA for example the first one here AGU it's not the first this one is the AGU I am not coding for the methane because before that maybe methane will be there but I have started from the AGU code or the codon what will happen as this tRNA will come this tRNA having complementary base pairing अगर आप इसके यहाँ के देखेंगे ये किसके साथ pair करता है इसके किस from the other end it will pair with like this there is a complementary base pairing here here also in this arm but in this one in this arm this loop okay in this loop these are the unpaired ones ये जो यहाँ पे आपको दिख रहे हैं ये कैसे होते हैं unpaired now this unpaired will try to pair up with the codes of the mRNA okay and these are known as anticodon this loop which will present here in this mRNA and it is coding what is and uh, whatever code it is there it will anticode for it this is the concept of care anticodon so here if AGU is present so if you will anticode it by with the help of this anticodon loop of the tRNA A will become U okay G will become C U will become A बता ए किसके साथ में करता है यू के साथ में यू ए के साथ में जी सी के साथ में पेयर सी जी के साथ में पेयर सो सेम थिंग वी हैव डन हियर सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एंटीकोडोन लूप दिस टी आर एन ए विल रीड लाइक दिस यू सी ए ओके नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन हियर आई हैव रिटर्न द फर्स्ट लूप इट हैज द बेसिस कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू द कोड इनके पास वो बेसिस होते हैं जो क्या करते हैं कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री पेयर करते हैं टी आर एन स्पेसिफिक फॉर specific amino acids okay we are having particular for example ye particular codon a particular amino acids ke liye code karega so what is this code for the serine if you will see the code of the serine it is AGU and this tRNA has decided that yes it is the code for serine so it will bring serine from the environment okay ye sari chiza kaha ho rhi hai DNA to RNA cell mein so in cell cytoplasm is present from the cytoplasm it will bring the serine here and it will attaches here and due to this what will happen this mRNA will give rise to the amino acid serine okay this is the way it will give rise to the serine ki. after that again there will be another codon then tRNA will come it will read this code and again it will see that it is UAC which will code for the tyrosine and it will bring the tyrosine from the cytoplasm it will attach tyrosine okay so as a karte karte what is happening there will be formation of different amino acids okay yeah amino acid bana yeah amino acid bana so like this there will be formation of different 
amino acids here and after that what will happen it will detach from this amino acids tRNA amino acids alag ho jata hai it we will read all about it in the translation in translation what will happen there will be formation of protein protein kaise formation hota hai with the help of ribosomes ribosomes will come here they will attach here and with the help of this ribosome this tRNA will get detached from this amino acids and it will form this peptide bond between different amino acids aise ek aur amino acids aayega amino acid so what will happen in ribosome jab aayega to wo kya karega inke beech mein peptide bond add kar dega ultimately there will be formation of protein okay so this is the whole step but here we have to understand only about the work of tRNA so first work by the anticodon loop which will and which will take the base pairing with the mRNA codes right here another one is the amino acid acceptor end okay as i have said ki yahan pe code padh ke wo kya kar raha hai cytoplasm se amino acid le kar aa raha hai to kaun sa arm isko accept kar raha hai that is the amino acid acceptor end and this end is this one this end is all, is known as amino acceptor end right here amino acid binds what it is doing it is binding the amino acids and this is specific for each amino acids yahan par kaun sa amino acids add hona hai ye specific hai agar ek codon hamare paas present hai right here then it, what is the function for initiation for initiating anything there is a initiator tRNA right here no tRNA for stop codon there is no tRNA is present for stopping anyone okay stop codon hamare paas alag hi hote hain we have done this one okay so here another loop is t loop t loop is what this one okay and it is helpful for binding to the ribosome as i have said we will discuss in the translation the ribosomes aayenge wo kahan pe attach honge tRNA ke attach honge and due to this what will happen they can form the peptide bond so with the help of this t loop it will bind the ribosomes and the d loop is for amino acyl synthetase enzyme so for binding for proper translation we required some enzyme also okay so this enzyme is helpful and this enzyme is present where in this d loop and what is that enzyme amino acyl synthetase enzyme and the fifth one is variable loop variable means it can vary according to the nucleotide length according to the nucleotide composition the short one you can see here it is a variable loop okay so the most important about this tRNA what we have to understand that what about this anticodon loop and how it is coding and how it is bringing this amino acids okay and how they are forming proteins with the help of the peptide bond that much is there so here that's all for today thank you